Hello YouTube, I hope you're doing well. Today we're on code.org, we're in unit 5, lesson 11, part 7. It says that this app has users add their grades and then will calculate their average grade. Read and run the code to understand how it works, and then tells us to add code to the program to calculate the average of the grades when the user clicks the button. And then it says to test your program on a few different numbers to make sure it works. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we have going on here. If I click run, let's go ahead and just add a few numbers. And we see that when we put a number here, we click add a grade, it drops the grades into my grades. The calculate average button does not work. And that's what we got to add code to. So as we look through the code here, we can see that we have an empty list called grades list. When we click add grade button, it goes ahead and it gets the number that was input here and puts it in the variable called new grade and then appends this grade list with that new grade and updates the screen. And then the update screen function is called, which is right here, it's just setting text. What we need to do is change this on event click. There are a few ways that you could go about doing this and no way is specifically right or wrong. Let's go ahead and start off by creating a couple of variables. Specifically, we're going to need three of them. The first variable is going to be for the total of all of the grades because we're going to need that number. We'll call that total. And we're going to set that variable to zero. The next one we're going to need is the variable for the amount of counts. And this is really where you could change up your code and not go this route. What we're going to do is we're going to call it count and we'll set that to zero as well. And then we need a variable to grab the average number. We'll go ahead and set that variable to zero as well. Now that we've done that, we need to go to our toolbox and what we're going to do is bring in a for loop. In the for loop, our variable is going to be i set at zero. What we're going to do is look to see is i less than and not the number four, but what we want is this right here, the grades list length. And we'll click out of that to set that. So it's going to look to see each of the entries and make sure that the variable is less than the total length of the list. And each time it runs through, it's going to add one to the variable count. Now that we've done that, we need to go ahead and reassign some of our variables that we just created. So if we go to variables, we're going to do this one, assign a variable. We're going to do total, and it's going to be equal to our total plus our grades list at the current index. So that'll take the current total and it'll add to it each time there's a new entry. Because of how we're gonna grab the total number of entries, we created this variable count. We need to go ahead and update that. So I'm gonna go to show text. And within this loop, I'm gonna do count plus plus. What that line of code does is it's adding one each time it adds the list. And we're ultimately gonna do the total divided by that count to get the average. The next thing that we need to do is we need to update our average variable. So we'll do this, and again, that's outside of the loop. Average is equal to our total divided by our count. And so what we've done here is we've created three different variables, one that's going to go ahead and take and add all of the grades together so that we can get the total grade point value. The next variable is going to be the count, and what that's going to do is it's going to grab a number for each one of the entries so that we can divide it by the number of assignments. Another way that we could have done this is by using the list length that was created above and dividing by that number as well. And then we have a variable that we created for average. After it's done running through the loop, what we've done is we're reassigning that by doing the total that's calculated in here and dividing it by the count that's also calculated in here. We have one other thing that we need to do, and that is to set our text to the screen. We're going to go to the UI controls. We're going to go to set text. If I reset this, I can see it says average grade. And let's just see if we can identify it from here. And this is going to be the average grade label, not the button. And what are we going to do? Let's clear this text out. And in the app example above and even to our left, it says that it needs to say your average grade 
colon, and then we're going to do a space. We'll jump outside that quotation mark. We'll do plus, and what we want to do is grab that variable that we created average. And then we're going to go ahead and click out of this. And let's see what happens when we run this app again. And let's click calculate average grade. And we can see it went ahead and it added up those numbers and then divided it to get the number 81.6 repeating. When you're done, go ahead and click finish.